what's up guys welcome back to the channel so the decky frame gen plugin has come out of beta and officially launched on the decky loader store so we're going to take a look at installing decky loader on your steam deck if you don't have it already installing this plugin and how it works now i did cover this in its beta form a couple of weeks ago at time of making this video but there was a lot more steps to it and you had to do most of it from the desktop and it was a bit of work, but it was fun to see how it was going to work with Decky Loader and all of that. But none of this is really necessary anymore. It's a really easy install. It's now officially in the store. So we'll get into it here with a new guide for Decky Frame Gen on your Steam Deck. Now, if you don't already have Decky Loader, the first thing we're going to do is install that. I've done a factory reset of my Steam Deck recently, so I no longer have it on here. So I'll be starting fresh as well. So we're going to go ahead and go in here to power and we're going to switch to our desktop mode where we'll quickly install Decky Loader. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and use whatever your favorite browser is here, and you're going to go to decky.xyz. I'll put a link in the description for you, but they have their own website here. Very easy. Click download to get the file. You can close out of your browser. This literally takes less than a minute to, to do an install from start to finish. Go into your downloads folder here, and then I'm going to double click on my Decky Loader installer. I'm going to click execute. And then we're going to click continue. Now I haven't set a password. Again, I've done a factory reset. So this is going to give me the option for Decky to make a password and then delete it. It'll be Decky with a capital D. And I'll just click yes for the ease of setting this up here. So we'll click yes. It'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick the release version, not the pre-release. Click OK. And then this will be a really quick process here to finish up the install. All right, now you've already installed Decky Loader onto your Steam Deck. It's really easy these days. Literally takes less than a minute from start to finish. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and return back to game mode. Okay, now that we're back over onto game mode, I'll hit my quick access uh, menu button here on my Steam Deck. And we'll bring up our side menu. And now at the bottom, you can see we have the little plug there. That's Decky Loader. Go over into settings and you can see we don't have any plugins installed yet. And then we have our general where you can check for updates. We're on the stable channel, just like we picked it install. We're on the regular storefront, nothing with the testing or anything like that right now. And our other modes here, we're leaving developer mode off. So there we go. So now we're ready to go ahead and go to the store and install the Decky Frame Gen plugin. So with our quick access menu, go to the store tab up here at the top. Let that load in and then you're going to scroll down to D and get to Decky Frame Gen. All right, once you get there, Decky Dash Frame Gen, we're going to click on install. We'll have to do that a couple of times here. So we'll go ahead and click install here. Now this just changes the LSS to FSR essentially is what it's doing, the upscaler and the um, frame generation as well. So we're going to take a look at that in the games once we get everything ready here. But this doesn't take long, goes ahead and does this little download and install, and there you go. We've got the Decky Frame Gen plugin right here. This whole process is pretty quick and easy these days to get this stuff done. Now, we still need to install the FG mod though, which is gonna be done right here from the plugin, really quick and easy. And we also have the select a game to patch. I actually need to download a couple of compatible games, so we'll do that here in just a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back and install FG mod. Once you click on that, you're going to see it's going to say success, and it says you can now replace DLSS with FSR frame gen. So this is for any game that has DLSS frame generation but doesn't have FSR frame generation. So I've downloaded A Plague Tale Requiem and Hogwarts Legacy. Both of these games have DLSS and DLSS frame gen but don't have FSR 3 or FSR um, frame generation. So they're perfect examples. There's a lot of other games out there that will work, but these are the two I'm picking. So we're going to go in here to our frame gen plugin and we're going to patch this. Now frame gen doesn't unpatch when you uninstall a game. So make sure that when you're done with this or you don't want to use it anymore, you unpatch the game, verify the files or reinstall the game if you want to properly do that. But I'm going to click on patch here. Now I'm going to also pick a Plague Tale Requiem. We're going to patch that one. Yeah, I want to. And now both of those games are patched with the mod. So we'll go back we'll get into a Plague Tale and then we'll jump into Hogwarts. Now, unfortunately, a Plague Tale Requiem is not a great example because no matter what, this game's really not that playable on these handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. This one was a hard one to run, but it's a good example because it does have DLSS frame gen, but not FSR frame gen. So you can see we're actually using the DLSS super resolution now, which is actually FSR 3. And then we can also turn on frame generation, which is FSR 3's frame generation. So we'll go ahead and go back here and you'll see now we are easily doubling our frame rate. Now again, this game's not the best example because it's still really hard to run 
and clunky. We have a low base frame rate that we're uh, frame generating. The higher your base frame rate is, the more smooth the game will be. And if you can lock your frame rate, like I could do here to 40 might work okay, uh, 40, 50, 60, whatever the case may be, that will also help out with things. But locking the frame rate does oftentimes introduce even more input latency, uh, which I notice in Hogwarts a lot, which we'll switch over to here now. Okay, so here on Hogwarts, we're not running any frame gen yet. We're on FSR 2. Now, this game doesn't have FSR 3, doesn't have FSR frame generation, so another good example. Let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. You'll see that we are on FSR 2. We're going to go ahead and switch that over. DLSS will now be lit up for us here. If we didn't have the mod installed, we wouldn't have that option available. You can mess with the upscale sharpness if you want to, and we can go ahead and go in and turn on X2 frame generation. And go back out here and you'll see that just like over in Plague Tale, we're easily doubling our frame rate. Now it may be a bit stuttery and clunky looking depending on what's happening with the game. I notice different games react differently to this mod and that type of thing. And again, locking your frame rates, which we'll take a look at, say lock this one to 60, uh, when you can hit that lock would be much smoother, but more input latency. This is no magic bullet to make games all of a sudden that have DLSS frame gen super playable, but it is fun and does make a decent difference in some games. So really any games that you can find that have DLSS frame gen and don't have FSR frame gen or upscaling, it's a good one to check out and see if, how well this works there. Now let's go ahead and cap ourselves to 60 FPS here, a quick and easy way with the quick access menu. And you'll see that things are much smoother as we move around on the screen, which is really nice. Anytime you maintain enough frame rate, that'll work, but it does introduce a good bit good bit more input latency for me here whenever I lock it down that way. So it's kind of picking between the two worlds. Again, this isn't like a magic bullet for these games, but I do think it's a lot of fun, has a lot of potential. It's probably going to improve over time. And of course, the better the game runs, uh, the better the base frame rate is, the better this is also going to work. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully this guide helped you out. It's a fun plugin to check out and I'm happy to see it hit the Decky Loader store. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for watching the video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.